Condor Parang. Stick around. All right, guys, if you're like me, you've been to the military, you know what this is. This is a Parang. Parang typically does not have uh, a point on it. It's mostly made for chopping. Very, very prominent in the Philippines. This is kind of like their thing. Uh, the jungles, it works very, very well. And not a lot of British SAS folk do like the Parang over any other machete. Uh, and I could see why. Now this one, I believe is 1075, does have a 12 inch uh, blade length. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, I will change that. Walnut handle. All right, it has a very large walnut handle and a generous lanyard hole in the back. So the sheath itself is very, very well done. All the stitching is really nice. It does come with a dangler and it does have a bunch of snaps on it. And again, ideally you would carry this uh, when you're out and about. Now it is cold out here. It is uh, about 27 degrees and I'm in my happy place. So I just wanted to test some of these blades, see what they can do. Start with the chop test. See how it splits. Shouldn't be a problem, but just want to test it out. That's what I figured. Alright guys, just a little bit of dead standing. Just want to see how it goes. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this. The edge profile on this is not consistent. I could see it from here. It's thinner up here than it is over here. It has more of a wide convex, almost like an ax. Now out here in the cold, this is probably not the best tool. It is not the thickest. It doesn't give me a lot of length or inertia to swing it and get that force that I need. Summertime, probably a little bit different. But again, if you're going for survival, you probably want something that's gonna work in all four seasons. All right, this is not gonna work in all four seasons. Um, maybe if I change the edge geometry, it would work a little bit better. But as you can see here, it's wider down here and becomes very, very thin up here. That works very well for snap cuts, let's say leaves and vines and that kind of thing. And if you're in a jungle environment, I could totally see that. But out here in the cold, it's just not going to work as well. So I don't know if you can see the edge geometry. I'll try to see if I could bring it in just a little bit. And if you look at the tip all the way down, it gets fatter and wider. And again, because it doesn't have that, that weight at the top, when you're swinging it, it's not going to give you those big cuts. All right. Uh, really nice blade, really nice design. I just think that we have to do a little bit better on the edge geometry. I could fix it, I could send it back to Condor, that kind of thing, that's fine. Uh, the handle itself worked excellent because this big bulb in the back. 
I felt my hand slide all the way back and then I wound up just holding on to it and then just beating whatever I needed to beat. Uh, so Condor has a little bit of work to do. I know that they are made in El Salvador and it's there's not a lot of, there's not always so much consistency with their blades. Um, but again, I think with a little touch up, this thing would do well. All right, so would I recommend it? Yeah, for a summer environment or maybe a hot climate, this thing would probably do very well. Uh, and if you don't want to carry a very large chopping machete, I think this is a really good option. Uh, but I would just change those things. I would fix the geometry a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's all I would do. I would just change the edge, ge edge geometry and I think this thing will work great. All right, guys, what I need you to do is like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. Check the links down below. If you become a Patreon member, it only costs you $1 a month. And you'll be able to watch videos like this uh, before anybody else. Please like, subscribe, add some comments down below. And as always, guys, please stay safe.